something. Back organizing the guys. Hoax brings five. Prescott throws him, and he's complete. C.D. Lamb, was he down? They say no for now, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. C.D. got spun around, but they ruled no body part was down. Stephon Gilmore stunned for the moment. Cowboys lead. That's the way I saw it as well. Let's take a look. Cloud underneath. Did anything ever touch? I, think it's good. I didn't see it. I think it's good. How good is C.D. Lamb? He is just taking over the Dallas Cowboys passing game. Did that forearm get on yeah. the ground? I didn't see it. That'll be the, the one body okay. part to examine. That, that left forearm. And looks like they're going to confirm this. And they have. Dallas touchdown. What a play. Wow. What a play. He's been doing it all year. Uh, he's, he's such a difference maker on this football team. They're going to stop him there on third down. Front pressure. Land the crosser. Great defensive back to bring him down. Uh -huh. CD puts a hand down. Takes it to the house. Touchdown Cowboys and the lead 7 3. Cowboys have three tight ends in the game. From the nine, throw it out to Gallup to the two yard line. Michael Gallup, who tore his ACL week 17, came back week four. And when you watched him against the Giants with five catches, 63 yards, season highs on Thanksgiving. Here in Arlington, Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys start from the 12 and inside, almost intercepted by Stephon Gilmore. Dak has thrown some picks since his return. That's how you get to be Defensive Player of the Year, the way that Gilmore did. He was all over that one. Saw it, had it, physical at the point. They see all those black pellets flying, and there he goes again. Simple. He's like, you know, hold on to the replay. I'm going to show you the real thing again. Back to back, they return that play, and Lamb, two runs. That one gets the first down. C.D. Lamb, and I've said this before, but Kellen Moore certainly knows. He was one of the most elusive runners, I think, after the catch I ever saw play college football. He is just brilliant in the open field. Court, if Indianapolis wants to stay around in this one. Dak protected so well. Gilmore with the pick. No flag, fans wanted it, there was a lot of contact. Gilmore inside the 20, and down at the 19-yard line. Stefan Gilmore, three seasons removed from being the Defensive Player of the Year, his second interception. Let's take a look. This is just straight up man-to-man -man all over the field, and they're taking Gallup out with one guy. This is like watching the Patriots play. Is there contact? There is a little contact. He was breaking out into Gilmore, holding his ground and just a little bit tougher at the point. You just have to play ball sometimes. Hmm. Tell you what, Gilmore's had a half, hasn't he? Mike, Stefan Gilmore with that interception. He told me he embraces the moments when he knows the ball is coming in his direction, that he comes alive. He said, I've been like that my whole career. If you can make the play, you're the savior. He likened it to Michael Jordan, his favorite athlete, that he would always take that shot when the moment gets big, He's clutch and steps up, and that is what Gilmore prides himself on doing. Saw it in Buffalo. Tonight, he said it's high. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his way. Great visit with Michael Smith with those guys on the pregame on the Brown sideline. Uh, rather, C.D. Lamb going to catch that right at the first down marker at the 39 here for Dallas. A, a work in progress back there. The motion by C.D. Lamb coming across the field. Dax got him on the run. Pass Franklin picking up lots. C.D. Lamb. First and goal for Dallas. Talk about a number one receiver. Third and ten. On the move. Nobody could catch him. But they don't have an answer because as he comes across the field and tucks in his chain or whatever they was doing there, <laughs> he comes over and then this play right there. Because if he had just tried to split it up the field, I'm not sure he gets there. But it's sort of like watching Wayne Gretzky or somebody just so fluid and motions tonight by C.D. Lamb. And no matter what he did, 
he's in motion. All his scrimmage yards came off of that motion. So it disturbed the Colts defensively. And to the point where he was having such an easy night, he just, you know, tucked the chain in, going across. Oh my gosh. I mean, what planet are these guys from? <laughs> what well, everybody thought it was going to be. No Green Bay. Tampa is not doing so well. Dallas is not in first place. The Rams are nowhere to be found. This is a very different year than was anticipated by most in the NFC. Yeah.